this minimum length of steel bar to be provided inside the column to establish desired bond strength between concrete and steel is known as development length. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about development length and the purpose of providing development length in RCC members. Before watching this tutorial, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon to remain updated. For understanding the concept of development length, let's consider a steel bar embedded in a column to a length L1. And now let's apply some force F on other side of the bar. Due to the applied force F, the steel bar will come out of the column which indicates that there is not enough bond strength between column and steel bar against the applied force to hold the bar inside the column. That is the length L1 is not safe length to maintain the bond strength between column and steel bar. Now let's increase the length of the bar inside the column to L2 and again apply the force F. Suppose the bar again comes out of the column that is the length L2 is not again safe length for the permissible load F. Now let's increase the length of the bar inside the column to LD and let's assume the bar does not come out on application of this force this time which indicates LD is the safe length to maintain the bond strength between column and steel bar. This minimum length of steel bar to be provided inside the column to establish desired bond strength between concrete and steel is known as development length. Development length is the length of steel bar which holds two concrete members together that is beams, columns, footings, etc. It is the minimum length of steel bar to be inserted inside the concrete column to ensure sufficient adhesion between concrete and steel. Now the question arises here, why do we provide development length? Development length is provided to reduce the chances of beam coming out of the column. It is provided in order to safely transmit the forces or stresses from beam to column. It ensures a safe bond between bar surface and concrete and ensure that the bars don't slip out of the concrete. Now the question arises, what would happen if we don't provide development length or if we provide inadequate development length? Concrete members would be prone to failure. In such cases, concrete failure would take place prior to breaking of steel bars. For illustration, let's consider a beam column system without development length provided. If we apply load more than the permissible limit, the bond strength between beam and column would be insufficient to hold the beam in its position. In that case, the beam will come out of the column. That's why development length is necessary to be provided. For the calculation of development length, the formula used is LD equal to phi sigma s divided by 4 tau BD where LD is the development length, phi the nominal dia of reinforced bars, sigma is the stress in bars at design load, tau BD the design bond strength. This formula is used to calculate the required development length in millimeter for any given dia of bars. It is used for both limit state method and working state method. For bundled bars, the development length is increased by 10% if two bars are bundled together. In case of three bars, the development length is increased by 20% and similarly when four bars are bundled together, the development length is increased by 33%. The various factors influencing development length are Compressive strength of concrete the development length required for steel bars is inversely proportional to compressive strength of concrete. That is, as the compressive strength increases, development length has to be reduced. Density of concrete. The development length must be increased for lightweight concrete. Clear cover. Development length should be decreased with the increase of concrete cover. 
कोटिंग ऑफ रेबर वेन द स्ट्रक्चर्स आर सब्जेक्टेड टू कोरोसिव इन्वायरमेंटल कंडीशन और केमिकल अटैक्स द नॉर्मल रेबर्स आर रिप्लेसड बाई इपॉक्स कोटेड रेबर्स एंड इन दीज रेबर्स द बॉन्ड स्ट्रेंथ रिड्यूस हैंस डेवलपमेंट लेंथ इज टू बी इनक्रीज रेबर डाया लेसर द डाया ऑफ रेबर्स लोअर विल बी द डेवलपमेंट लेंथ रिक्वायर्ड सो दिस वॉज ऑल फॉर टूडे फॉर मच मोर इन्फॉर्मेटिव एंड इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्टेंट सब्सक्राइब माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड डोंट फॉर गेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू रिमेन अपडेटेड थैंक यू